Retro Tech Toys is proudly sponsored by PCB Way. Get your PCBs today with quick turnaround time and as low as $5 for your first order plus shipping. They even do CNC and 3D printing work, so make sure to check out PCBWay.com today. And by Linode Cloud Computing. Simple, affordable, and accessible. Whether you're working on a personal project such as a game or app, or you're managing your enterprise's infrastructure, Linode has the pricing, support, and scale you need to take your ideas to the next level. Check them out for free today with a $100 credit by clicking the link below. Thanks for watching Retro Tech Toys. I've got a really interesting video for you today. I was working on the CRT versus modern display video and I came across something pretty awesome and I wanted to share it with everybody. And we're gonna do that in just a second, so let's get started. Okay, we're back. Now I have a crate of stuff over here and I'm sure you can see a little bit of what's in it. And uh, there's a backstory behind it and we'll talk about the backstory and then I'll get to everything that's in here. Like I said, I was working on the CRT versus modern displays discussion video that we all voted on. And I came across something that I had to share with you guys. This crate has a lot of cool stuff in it and I'll tell you how I got it. My wife today wanted to go thrift shopping because it's been a while since we've gone. Uh, we're both fully vaccinated now, so we decided to go to a thrift store. The very first thrift store we pulled into, we went in and we were looking around and she was doing her normal thing that she likes to do and we split up because I like to go over to the DVDs and the games and the electronics. If any of you have seen my thrift shop videos, you'll know the kinds of things that I like, of course. They all relate to this channel. We were there shopping and I came across the electronics section which had just been moved recently to another place, you know, in the store. So I was looking around over there and they had a couple things. They had a, maybe one or two Tandy branded things like a power strip that was Tandy branded, but it was too much and I didn't I want it, but I didn't want it for what they were selling it for. And I kept looking and I came across this crate and it looked like there was a CRT in there. And what you're seeing is exactly how I found this crate. I haven't taken anything out of it yet and I really want to because the way it's sitting in there is bugging me to death. I found the crate and I wanted to show you guys exactly how I found it. Uh, it said $79.99 as is. And I was like, okay. And I picked it up and I was looking at it and I saw it was a lot more than just a random CRT. This is an Apple monitor uh, for like an Apple II. Uh, looks like it's the uh, same monitor that I have or a similar monitor. It's like the green uh, phosphorus monitor. And over here, there was an Apple II. A bunch more goodies inside. So for $79.99, that was a pretty good deal even back when thrift shops were really good and you could find all sorts of retro stuff. So I didn't know everything that was in it and the monitor actually looked busted. Like the screen looked sunken in but I was willing to take a chance and it was all taped up. So I took the tape off long enough to look at everything and there's a lot of stuff in there and I wanted to share with you guys exactly what I found at a thrift shop for $79.99 and then we can have a little bit of a discussion about thrift stores and thrifting in the modern era. So let's get started here. Uh, first of all, in the pile, there is an Apple IIe. So I looked at it and if you look at the back, it doesn't seem to have any of the ports. So I'm wondering if the cards have been pulled out. I haven't looked inside yet. Uh, the keyboard looks amazing. A few of you have commented about the Apple IIe that I have. The keyboard is really bent in and it looks terrible, uh, which is how I picked it up. Uh, this keyboard looks phenomenal. It needs a good cleaning and it definitely needs a retro writing. And I'm going to do it because the case looks fantastic, uh, unlike mine, and the keyboard looks great. But let's open it up. I'm curious to see what's inside, if anything. So we open it up, you just do this and pop off. And I can see what's going on in here already. Uh, we've got the speaker. I can show it to you. There's no logic board, but there is a power supply, which is good. And I have a logic board, okay? I That's not a problem with me. I was thinking maybe there wasn't a logic board in here because the ports were missing. I didn't know if either there wasn't a logic board in here or if the cards had been pulled or if the logic board was in here, but it had been pushed forward or something. But no logic board. That's okay. I have one. We're going to do a video where I transplant my Apple IIe into this case with a new keyboard. 
I'm really excited about that. For me, that's worth the $79.99, and I've already decided we're transplanting that apple into this case. Uh, it does have some cards just dangling around in there. Uh, it's got the keyboard uh, ribbon cable, and it's got a Graphstar card from 1983. I'm not actually sure what this does, but I'm gonna look it up later. It is from Star Microtronics Incorporated from 1983. Uh, we've got a 64K 80 column expansion card. I believe I've got one of those in my machine, but it's good to have another one. We also have the card for a disk drive. But yeah, the power supply looks good. Everything looks great in here. Uh, it's missing a couple of screws, but I have screws in my other machine. So we're good there. We've got this whole Apple computer case with the keyboard and a bunch of cards. That alone, if, if I, I'm not selling it, but if I were selling it, that alone is worth the $79.99. I'm gonna stick this right here. So we also have the monitor, and it looks like it's roughly the same monitor that I have. I've got a power strip right over here so we can see if this thing works. One of the things I noticed about it is it looks like the uh, screen here is sunken in, so there might be something with a tube being loose. We'll have to check that out in a future video. But let's go ahead and check this thing out just to see if it works. See the green light, the green lights come on, so the power light's on. What we can do is adjust the brightness here and see if anything happens. There you have it. The monitor works, it just needs to be adjusted. Uh, looks like it's just kind of come off track or something up here. Uh, we could fix that, no problem. And that flicker that you're seeing is not actually there, that's just because of the, uh, I guess, the refresh rate of the camera. This alone also is worth probably the $79.99 once it's fixed. I'm not a seller, but if I were, we've already doubled our money here. All right, let's check and see what else we've got. We've got Apple Works. So we've got the program disc in there. Let's see if anything else is in there. And it's still in its original case. You can see it's got the Apple logo on it. So yeah, we've got the Apple Works program disc, the Apple Works sample files, and Apple Works side one and two. Always nice to find software. And here's some of that tape. Oh, I hate that. It's all over the book. The Apple II user guide for Apple II Plus and Apple IIe. So that's a pretty cool find to have in there. So Apple II user guide. Let's see what else we have in there. We have the Apple II, Apple Works Reference Manual. That is really cool. Also have, and I haven't looked inside, we've got Lotus 123, release 2.2. This is just a printed out Apple Works quick reference material. And this is more Apple Works stuff. And this is an Apple Works tutorial for the Apple II. And this is actually some software. The disks look pretty rough. So these are just a bunch of data disks, which is totally cool, totally fine. And last but not least, and this kind of irks me a little bit, but I'm not complaining. Uh, my duo disk drive set over there for my Apple IIe has been malfunctioning for a while now. And I've repaired it multiple times and it's just probably time to retire it and by retire it i mean i'm going to put it up on my shelf and still preserve it but it's time for it to stop doing its thing so i went on ebay two days ago and i found an apple II disk drive for 35 dollars and i bought it and then a day or two later i found this so it looks like i have not one but two apple disk drives now so now i'm gonna have three not complaining it's always good to have a backup we have a screen protector that really needs to be cleaned this is a Polaroid CP50 contrast enhancement filter that goes on top of your Apple II screen. I got all of that today for $79.99. Oh, and I haven't checked one thing. Are there any disks inside the disk drive? So no, there are no disks inside the disk drives. Uh, so that's all the software we have. We have the Apple Works and we have the Lotus, which is for an IBM machine. And then we have all the data disks, some of which are for the Apple II and some of which look like they were for other machines. So I would have really liked to know who donated this because it seems like they had other machines. And this was a nonprofit thrift store where people just come in and donate things and everything that is sold in the thrift store goes towards taking care of the homeless population which is something that's really close to my heart um, I actually buy a lot of food and do a lot of things for the homeless so that was really cool and that's why I shop at this store uh, so buying this and a couple other things that I bought actually bought 50 meals for the homeless 
I'm really, really, really happy about that. But let's go ahead and get all of this stuff set to the side and let's talk about thrift stores for a little bit because I've seen a lot of discussion about whether or not you can find good things in a thrift store still. All right, we'll leave this guy here because I like him. He's in great shape. So let's have a discussion about thrift stores now. Uh, this is a big point of contention amongst retro collectors. Uh, this has always been a big debate on whether or not you can find good stuff at the thrift store still. I know when I was younger, when I was 16 years old, you could go into, uh, we have a store called Amvets. Everything they do goes towards veterans. So that thrift shop, when I was 16, they had mountains of old IBM computers, like I think I remember seeing a couple of IBM PC juniors at the time, but I didn't quite know what they were. And uh, I got a really amazing giant, you know, IBM PC there for $70 when I was 16. And I wish I still had it. Depending on how old you are when you're watching this video, if you're 30 to 40 years old, back when we were younger, you could go to a thrift store and find 286s, 386s, 486s. You could find older machines like the IBM PC, for example, or the PC Junior. You could find all this stuff. Color computers, Commodores for $5. That's just not the case anymore. I think we all know that. There are probably some people watching in some countries or some states here in the US that can still go into like a Value Village or a Savers or whatever you happen to have. We don't have any of those in my area, but you could probably still go into those and find things. And you just see you know, it's getting harder now but don't lose hope i know a lot of you watching this are thinking well my thrift store never has anything like this the problem is that you have to go all the time so whenever you have some free time if you don't mind popping into even your closest local thrift store for five minutes just you know for a few minutes and just browse the electronic section and sometimes up by the counter you can find a lot of really interesting things and you're not going to find them all the time. Nine tenths of the time when you go to the thrift store, you're not going to find anything good. If you do, it's going to be hundreds of dollars. But this particular thrift store, maybe once or twice a year, they have something great. And since I happen to be in that area quite often, I stop there three or four times a week. I'm going to give you guys a collector's guide very soon. So thank you so much for watching Retro Tech Toys. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for checking out everything that I found today. It's all going to be in future videos coming up. And just to throw it out there, when we do the Apple II restoration, I took the advice of someone who commented on the channel and told me to get the upgrade kit for the Apple IIe. So I've got it right here. I bought it. It's here. We'll install that when we switch everything over. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching Retro Tech Toys. We'll see you soon. I'm still working on the CRT versus modern display video, so that's going to come soon. So stay safe. We'll see you next time.